the government will consider using lightweight disaster-resistant plastic materials for the reconstruction of homes destroyed by the recent floods. The recent unprecedented floods last year, which affected the states of Kelantan, Terengganu, Pahang, Perak, Johor, Sabah and Sarawak, has provided us much insights and lessons learned, particularly on the construction of houses where we witnessed much devastation. The minister attended the launch of CIDB Malaysia and Bayer Joint Initiative for Affordable Housing Solutions in Kuala Lumpur on Monday. Haji Fadila says the technology, known as polyisocyanurate or PIR, will be used in a pilot project in Kelantan to build five prototype houses. Why is it so different from other similar models? Well, the answer lies in the immediate benefits of creating a comfortable and clean shelter which you will soon be able to witness for yourself. The core of the house is also strong, making it highly resistant to strong winds. It cannot easily be damaged by floods due to its high resistance to moisture and mold. With good ventilation, the house's insulation benefits can keep temperatures pleasant during the day. If families decide to use air conditioning, the insulation will help dramatically lower energy costs, leading to increased household savings. The durable nature of polyurethane also ensures low maintenance costs and a more beautiful community despite the passing of time. I'm confident we will complement the government's continuous commitment and efforts in providing the underserved low-income communities with better access to sturdy, safe and reliable housing on a sustainable basis. Using such technology, it will take eight workers up to five weeks to build a unit that will cost about 80,000 ringgit.